It's spring cleaning. Amazon's inventory program is coming out with some swinging of the brooms and brushes, I guess you could say. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and you might need to check out some of this Amazon news here. So inside of your Amazon inventory dashboard, you can see all kinds of information like your IPI score, your SKUs to restock, and SS units, and all that good stuff. Well, Amazon just announced that they're going to have uh, an inventory cleanup, basically any units that have been in centers for more than 365 days are going to start automatically shipping out on April 15th. So you're going to have to come in here and check things out because if you don't, you're just going to randomly start receiving some packages in the mail. You may not be expecting them. There's a few links you're going to want to click on and check out. The first is the manage your inventory health page. And right here you can see there's this nice new notice here that says your settings have been updated to automatically remove aging inventory starting April 15th. So you could go over to that inventory setting and make some adjustments or end up paying Amazon lots of fees. We all like to pay Amazon fees, right? Because Amazon selling is passive income and the inflation rates are not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. All right, so check that out when you manage inventory health page. Check your automated settings. And I'm going to say it's probably a good idea for you to do this. Here are the new release notes where Amazon says manage inventory health requires replaces the manage excess inventory and inventory age page. I say that five times fast. You can now manage your excess and age inventory in one place. And here's what you can do. Customize your page metrics, group products with similar inventory behavior, and view more products per page. So in here, you can see like how everything is doing. So I've got an excess of 412 units on this particular unit. This is my worst in class item, quarantine birthday wine glass. So one of the things you can always do to try and move something when it's got lots of excess is go ahead and lower that price down. So here you're going to see, I'm actually going to go all the way down to 899 because I've got a massive amount of inventory excess on that one. So this is actionable data. I guess I was over the screen there. So you can see here, I'm lowering the price right there on the top right now. And you can go in there and, and see things. You want a little bit more of a macro view. Let's go back over to the inventory dashboard page here. And here you can see reduce excess inventory. These are items with excess inventory over 365 days. So I'm going to go and click this. And that's going to bring us to the page where it shows us all of these excess inventory issues. So I've got 685 available of Mama Shark. We're about to go right into Mother's Day here. Um, and unfortunately, 629 of these are excess. Now, they haven't gone over that 365 days yet. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and lower our price down here. we got to get these moving because if we don't, we're going to end up paying some fees. Our IPI score is going to go down and you get the drift. So 447 of my Savage Classy ratchet wine glasses how many have sold in the last let's see where's the sell number so 43 of these have sold in 90 days i have over 440 of them so we got like a 10 percent run rate so same thing we're going to come in here we're going to lower the price try and get these things moving because we don't want to pay those amazon storage fees so this is exactly how you would action this kind of information you'd come in here you'd look at your excesses and say hey you know i've got 10 times the amount of stock i need to Let's go ahead and get some of these to move. And, you know, you can always go back in and raise the price after it's gone down for a bit. Uh, but running some sales to move some inventory on some of these slow movers absolutely makes sense. So you can see time and time again, I'm making the same play. Now, now I'm getting down to the less egregious examples. So 48 units with 150 available. I could probably hold the line there if I needed to. Um, but uh, you're my person, stemless wine glass, 138 available. How many have sold? Only one unit. That's a huge problem. So we're going to bump that one down and try and get some action going. All right. So the other thing you could do is create sponsored product ads. Maybe maybe you just missed getting an ad up for a product. You never know. This is a good way to kind of gauge that and test it out. So any units of ASINs that haven't also sold in six or more consecutive months that have been in Fulfillment Center for more than half a year will also automatically start shipping out. So if you have an item, let's say you got 100 units in Amazon and it sold in three months, three months ago, but hasn't sold in the last 90 days for whatever reason, they're going to ship that out as well. You're going to have to have sales every single month of an inventory. So this is 
These are stats that have not generally been um, used as part of their IPI, right? So if we go back to the IPI page, well, it looks like I'll have to hit the back button here. So if you go back to the IPI page, you can see like, you know, here are the normal things that used to affect IPI score. It was pretty basics. Access inventory, sell through, stranded, in stock, right? So, so my biggest challenge right here is anything in red, that's the sell through right there. And that's a challenge, right? So you want to look at the, the areas that are in red. Excess inventory is absolutely the number one factor that affects IPI and being in stock is the lowest. So this is tiered, very much tiered system here. So if we look at the details, my IPI, you know, starting to go down, it tapped out right at 521 and now we're on the way back down. We're, we're going to start to see everybody's IPIs go down a little bit because the Christmas rush is over in general, right? So down here, you can see I've got 22% excess inventory. I'm in my off season. Uh, wine glasses, not necessarily the forefront of people's minds right now. Um, and you can see some of those stats. So you can decide what to do and what to action. So let's pop over now to those automated fulfillable inventory settings. So here's what you see here. And this is them again, basically any inventory page you go on seller central right now, they're like showing you like, Hey, this is happening. Here's what we're doing with automated fulfillable inventory removals. Amazon returns, liquidates or disposes inventory that has been a fulfillment center for more than 365 days. In addition, units of ASINs that have not sold in six or more consecutive months will be liquidated and removed as well. For more than 180 days there you can see so you're you're opted in if you opt out there could be some fees you'll have to pay so if you can go to your configure settings here we go so what do we want to do enable long term yes do we want to liquidate no do we want to uh disable that you got the settings there you can cha change like okay removals choose return or dispose here you can see like where those removals are going to go as it relates to the automatic fulfillable inventory uh removal so you have some action to take. You got about four weeks to take care of this. Uh, April 15th is your drop date. Make sure you take action today. I have over 900 videos. Hit that subscribe button, slam the like, and check out all of our inventory catalog video tutorials to help you get your IPI score up and keep your account protected. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy.